today. I thank you for giving us health and strength in our bodies in the wonderful name of Jesus. Now we're asking Holy, Holy Spirit that you would come dwell and saturate the ground, so Lord yes. God. Move up and down the aisles to have your way. Say what you desire to say. Do yes, what you desire Lord. to do in this sanctuary, in our temple, in yes, the name Lord. of Jesus. Yes, we're asking you to come in and I step in our situation. We yes, invite you in and I to our circumstances. Yes, and Lord God, we thank you for canceling out every ungodly yes, assignment. Lord. Thank you for destroying yes, everything. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, thank you, Lord God, for breaking every bondage yes, and Lord God, yes. destroying every In the book of Psalms, chapter 30, I'm going right over there. Yes, in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Very familiar passage, but the Lord God is focusing on something else. He won't let me go with this book of Psalms, chapter 30. Hallelujah. I've been telling you there's much more in it for you. Thank the Lord God. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. When you get to Psalms 30, hallelujah, I want you to put your focus on verse number 5. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. I love to hear the pages turning. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord God. It's good. It's good. If you need a Bible, they have one in the front. Hallelujah. Yeah, don't miss your moment. Come on. Thank you, Lord God. When you dare, say amen. 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 We're in Psalms 30. We're going to be uh, focusing on verse number 5. Amen. And the word of the Lord God reads, in the name of Jesus, he said, for his anger is but for a moment, and his favor is for life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy coming in the morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Yeah, that's a place to praise him right there. Hallelujah. We're learning, we're getting God's glory, because most of the time we hear about the joy that's coming. Yeah. The joy of the Lord is your strength. The joy, yes. But the Lord God wants me to focus on his morning. Amen. Hallelujah. That's between midnight and noonday. The Lord God's talking about your morning. Huh? Your morning is right around the corner. Your morning. Uh, to ask your neighbor, what time is it? What, what time, time is it? Ask your neighbor, what time is it? Uh, what time is it? Now tell them, it's morning. It's, it's morning. morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. You only know how powerful that sounds in the name of Jesus. You're decreeing and declaring that it's morning. I'm saying right there because the Lord God wants me to focus on some things. I want you to understand that morning, as I mentioned, is a time period between midnight and noon. But I want you to say spiritually, your morning is a time whenever you gain the victory and operate in it. All right. All right now. Come on now. Morning is when you when you <laughs> gain the victory Hallelujah. and you begin to operate it. He said, "Oh, you are gaining the victory, but you're not operating in it." Yeah. Yeah. The Lord God said, "I give you my word to live by, but you're not using it. Right. So you don't have the victory because you don't use my word." Jesus. He wow. said, "That's the only thing that's gonna make the devil move." Amen. Amen. I'm gonna tell you, I love, yeah. the Lord God said, "The enemy's not moved by your tears." Yeah. I know He's I said a lot. Amen. Amen. He's not moved at all. But when you speak the word, you Jesus. just gotta tell him it's yeah. written. When you tell him it's written, yes, the, the yes. devil got to back up. Yes. Come on now. He's got to take his hands off. Amen. He's got to Amen. let go. You must understand that when your morning comes spiritually, is a time when you begin to gain your victory and operate in it. Amen. Brothers and sisters, you must understand that God is a God of timing. Amen. I've said that more than once, and the Holy Spirit's really laying on it. God is a God of timing. You know he created seasons and times. Am I right about Amen. it? Yes. We learn in Genesis he created the day and then he created the night. But I want you to understand he created seasons too. Amen. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, oh, just turn over there if you don't mind. Put your finger there. I'll write it down. And many of you know the pattern. Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, it talks about seasons. Am I right about it? Amen. Come on now. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, the word tells us about seasons. You're like, well, it doesn't say, yes, it, yes, it does say seasons. Yes, it does. It points it out really, really clear. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm coming to that. Come on. It points it out really, really clear. In Ecclesiastes 3, and beginning at verse 1, the Bible tells me, it says that everything, there is a season. Come on now. A time for every purpose under heaven. A time to be born, a time to die. A time to plan, a time to pluck what has planted. Come on now. A time to kill, a time to heal, a time to break down, and a time to unbuild up. Oh, come on, read it. Yes, Lord. A time to weep, a time to laugh, a time to mourn, a time to dance, a time to cast away stones, a time to gather the stones, a time to embrace. A time to break from embrace, a time to gain, and a time to lose, a time to keep, and a time to 
to go away. A time to tear and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. And a time for war and a time for peace. Woo! Lord, Lord, I, Lord. God. I told you my father's in time. Yes, Lord. Don't believe anybody if they tell you that God is not in wow. time. They're lying. That's deep. They're lying one that the truth is not in them. Because <laughs> God is in time and God is my in season. I'm going to take my time tonight if it's all right. Because there's just some nuggets that God is talking about for us to realize about the morning. Wow. That he's saying that there's a time. And make a note or write it down or circle it. I love Ecclesiastes 3 and 11. It says, everything he has made is beautiful in its time. Beautiful. In its time. Yes. It may not be beautiful to somebody else at the time that it's given. It's beautiful in your time. Come on now. I, I love that. That should be encouraging to you because that means that there's a timing for you. <laughs> that there's a timing for your neighbor. There's a time. But every, he said, it has made everything beautiful in its time. See, something that we thought was popular, let me put it down in layman's terms. Remember when they had fads and they had certain things that you enjoy? At that time period when everybody wanted to buy a certain type of bare, bare yeah. jeans or clothing yes, yes, or perfume, yes. it was beautiful in its time. Yes. Now somebody else pulled it out today, you're like, where are you going with that? Uh -huh. Why are you wearing that? That's an old passion. Uh -huh. Come on now, come on now, you yeah, wife. You know yeah, we didn't hurt. That's yeah, old, but yeah. nobody wanted it. Well, it was beautiful in its time. Amen. Yes. Oh, this gospel's Amen. for everybody. Yes, yes. 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 Beautiful and it's timing. So whenever it's it was uh, operating at that time, it was beautiful. Yes, Lord. As it is in the natural, so it is in the spirit. Yes. yes. It's beautiful in its time. Yes. Hallelujah. That's why God, I'm not, that's in my, not in my notes. Let me, <laughs> let me give you some nuggets that's right nice. here. The Holy Spirit says you need to be careful what you think is beautiful right now. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Because Pretty everything going to get a little low. Jesus. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. All the glitter. You got to make sure it's pure gold. Because yes, everything Lord. that's shining is not gold, baby. Uh -huh. You got fake gold and artificial gold. Amen, amen. And those things that glitter lose their luster and yes, shine yes. after a while. Uh -huh. So that's why God says, don't look at the outside, but look on the inside, inside of an individual. Because yes, outside will deteriorate. Amen. Oh, what's amen. on the inside? You can't go wrong with those yes, treasures. Amen. You're not going to go wrong with the treasures that he has Trans on the inside. <laughs> and see, that's what's wrong with the world now. Uh -huh. We're so busy looking on the outside that you miss the inside. I've already said, you got to stop judging a book by its cover yes. and tell you. It's my morning. It's my morning. Yes, Lord. It's my morning. It's my morning. Yeah. Come on, you go. Yeah, I told you, tell your neighbor, I'm saying, it's my morning. It's yeah. my morning. Oh, Jesus. 
because I told you, the morning is when things are beginning to start shining. The morning, first of all, before you can get your morning, you got to decree and declare that you got the morning. Amen, amen. Yes, Lord. So a lot of people like that just don't even want to confess. It's the power of your words. Yeah. The power of your word. You see, that's why when I keep telling you, touch two or three people yes, and agree. You yes. see, those that are touching and move, those are the ones getting them on. Amen, yes. amen. Yes, Lord. Yes, amen. Because it's the, amen. the Bible tells the me when two or three come together, yes. there we are. Yes. Yes. Yes, Lord. The morning is coming. Yes, Lord. You must understand because you're standing in agreement. I'm shaking it up. Yes, Lord. You must understand that that's the power of work. God said in His word when two or three come together. There he is in the midst. So whenever you start commanding your morning, you got to act and you got to start speaking it yes, and then moving it. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now you see, biblical, we got to speak it and then move it. You see, in the natural realm, people want to move, then they want to speak <laughs> They want to move. How many times you, you move and you shouldn't move? Oh, Amen. Preach it, Pastor. You know, you move, you move and you know God didn't tell you to move. Amen. But the Lord God said, He said, speak. And then move. Yes, right. Lord. You see, the world say move, then speak. Then move. I'm going to give you, I'm going to do a rewind. Uh -huh. Jesus. I'm going to do a rewind. That's good. You see, in the natural, when we move, Lord, bless me, bless me, bless me, bless me. Uh -huh. When the Lord God said, if you just start Stay speaking, right Lord God, I thank yeah. you, Father God, for direction. Right. And then he tells you, no, but you spoke it, then you move. Right. But see, when you move, you always pray, Lord, bless me, bless me, bless me. But when you've already spoken it into existence, what do you do? You just walk in. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yes. You ain't got to ask God to bless God. He already gave it to you. Because you spoke it. And if you spoke it, it's already there. So that's why, when, that's why whenever you hear the oh, please pray for me on my job. Pray for me. First of all, did you pray and ask God that that was a job he wanted you to do? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Try to boot the track. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sabotage. Yeah. All of a sudden, you're, oh, yeah, yeah. That, that, 
desires? Yes. Amen. Somebody needs to get that in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes, truly. It's good to be in a fellowship of brothers and sisters with faith there. But the Lord God says, whenever you're in a 911, sometimes you don't have everybody there. Because 911, nine times out of ten occur, and it's none of the people that you are really close to or around. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. 911, somebody's calling your family. Amen. Amen. Come on now. You better see that thing in the Amen. natural. Nine Amen. times out of ten, when you're doing a 911, and if you're out in them, you're not, most of that, they're making calls out. Yeah. So if you're going to make a call out, who you going to call? Amen. Hallelujah. That means you call up. You do the yes, upward Lord. call. Yes, My God. Call upon the name yes, of what? Uh, Jesus. Jesus. And he answers every call. Yes, yes. So he be busy. I'm here to tell Amen. you that he will come in right on time. I want you to understand that, brothers and sisters, you can command your morning. That the Bible is telling us, and the Lord God is telling us today, that the morning is what's important. I know that joy is coming, but Lord God said, call, command your morning. Then start speaking to your morning. Start decreeing and declaring something. Take the power of your tongue and use it for good and not evil. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Use it for Hallelujah. good and not evil. Call those things as be not as what as all they were. In the name Amen. of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. It's good to be in the house that people know the Bible. Yes, Glory to God. Thank you, Lord God. You can start commending your morning. So allow yourself to begin to fall to open up your mouth and start decreeing and declaring. You're like, well, I don't know how to do this. I'm here to tell you, it's real easy. Uh, it's real easy. I'm going to give you a passage that you can start decreeing and declaring right now. What about Deuteronomy 28? Yes, yes Lord. Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. <laughs> yes, Lord. <laughs> You're like, oh, wait a minute, that's the Old yes. Testament. I'm yes. here to tell you, the Lord God said, I'm blessed. Yes, yes Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I'm blessed. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to give you some nuggets. Those who are taking down some, yeah. some scripture, you know, don't want to hit some key one. But Deuteronomy 28, it's good to start getting in the mirror and start saying, I command my morning in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that I'm blessed in the city and I'm blessed in the country. I'm blessed when I come and I'm blessed when I go. Uh, my kneading board is blessed. My, home, my, my storehouse is blessed. Woo, yeah, yeah. Take the note. Deuteronomy 28. 28. Start at verse number 1 all the way to verse number 13. And I'm here to tell you, God's word shall not return to him void. Amen. And it shall yes, accomplish Lord. what he sent it forth to do. When yes, you get up Lord. in the morning, you say, bless God, I'm trying yes, to dress my teeth. But you know, in the name of Jesus, I'm blessed. Preach it, Pastor. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I'm blessed. Yes, Lord. I'm blessed. Get it in, get it in. Yes. You know, somebody's like, well, no, I'm here to tell you. Yes, the foolish Lord. things of the world come from the wise. So the Lord, you know what I mean? You're brushing your teeth. But I'm blessed. Bless, yes, yes. Now I'm declaring and declaring. Yes, in the name. So when I go out, I'm blessed when I go. Oh, and I'm, I'm blessed, blessed when I come. come. In the name of Jesus. And even my need and even my seed is blessed. Yeah, yeah. 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 So I'm so blessed. I'm overflowing with blessings. Yes, Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you yes, need to get Lord. that in your yeah. spirit, man. In Deuteronomy 28, I'm here to tell you, start commanding your morning in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in the book of Job that you can command the morning and shake the wicked out of it. Hey, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. That means whenever there's a trap set up on the enemy, I command my morning to shake the yes, wicked out. Lord. That means whatever they had set for me, not going to work. Anymore. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You're getting keys in order to command your morning. Amen. You mean to tell me I can stop my attack? Yes. 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 You can command your morning. Lord God, I command my morning to shake the wicked yes, out. Lord. Amen. That means expose every demon. In the name of Jesus. Every demon that I've encountered. Yes, Lord. Lord shake them out of their positions. Shake them out, Lord God. Yes, Lord. Shake them out. They don't want to look at them. Yes, Lord. Jesus. The Lord God says that your foot Amen. will not even hit a snare. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes Lord. Yes, Lord. The angels are gonna just guard you. Just the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm here to tell you. I'm dead. Lord. I thank you, Holy Spirit. <laughs> Every curse that the enemy said about to be turned into a blessing. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Every curse. Thank you. Every curse. Thank you. Every curse. Thank you. Turn it into a blessing. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord God. He said, that's a promise. You can, you can command your morning that way. Your night is not going to be as long as you think it is. Somebody. Thank you, Lord. 
Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Woo! Glory to God. God. Glory, glory, Thank glory. You, Lord God. I'm Thank telling you, as the Holy Spirit, Hallelujah. you're learning. I'm learning too. Yes, Lord. Woo! Thank you, Lord God. I'm giving him glory because that was, she just dropped that. That's fresh yes, metal. Lord. Right yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Right Thank you. One night is not as long as you yes. take it. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. The Lord God said, I sent you here tonight to get some tools. Yes, Lord. So he can command your morning. Thank you, Lord God. He said, even now, you know what? When your morning is just about over, I mean, when your when your night is just about over, thank you, Holy Spirit. When your night is just about over, that's when you can't cry no more. Yes, wow. yes, Lord. Preach your past. That means when you're up in there, you just got dry heels. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anybody been uh -huh. there? Yeah. Anybody been uh -huh. there? Like, you know, I know you just you just dry. You have no, you no more. Nothing. You're out. You're Nothing. finished. 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 Finish. 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 No. You can't even pick up your head. Yes, Lord. Head to the most something the Lord God says. Yeah. That's when you start commanding. Amen. 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 That's when you start commanding. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Because that means the work that God has done, He has completed it. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. That means the work that He has done. When you start crying and you're like this and you're, you're just crying. Yes, Lord. You have no more. And you're just in your prayer time. You just. The Lord God says, I finished it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. He said, now. My God. Thank Lord you. Uh -huh. I don't know if you haven't been there, but I'm speaking because the Holy Spirit dropped yes, this. Yes, Lord. Ooh, Amen. My Amen. spirit, man. He said, many of you are wondering how, when, because you said that the darkness would, that God's doing something in the dark, but he's done the work, but he's completed everything that you are in need of. You're in that. You didn't always cry. You are born. Out with your tears. I'm talking to some people who Jesus. need the doctor in the yes. house, yes. who need the chief physician to yes, heal your emotions. Amen. When you're Amen. tired of all of the, you're, you're hurting in your body, you have been to all kind of physicians and you don't know what else to do. And you're just in there and you're looking in that closet. You're like, look, God. And you have nothing else the Lord God says. That's when you start. Because you're just waiting. You're waiting to hear something from him. Yes. I can see you now. Yes. I can see you now. Yes. You can see yourself. See yourself on the threshing floor. Yes. Yes. See yourself there. Yes. Where you're scooting and you don't know and you can't seem to position your, you're just out of words. Yes. You're out of words. Yes. You put it before the Father so much. Yes. You have nothing else left. Yes, Lord. The Holy Spirit yes. says, that's the way. You know God is finished. Somebody better get yeah. it. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Because the Lord God said there are some individuals up in here that God says, I finished. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. I have finished. Thank you, Lord. It is done with. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. 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 You're not the tall with it. You will not yeah. fight this Goliath. Yeah. Yeah. One more time. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Lord God. Yeah, our position that you are getting, the Lord God says you will not get it anymore. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. 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 Th